Every day, our body has to protect itself against pathogens in our environment, but also against cancer cells in our tissues. Immune cells play a crucial role in this protection. There are many different types of immune cells, and each cell type has its own task in protecting our body. An important cell type in this process is the T-cell, also known as T-lymphocyte. T-cells are transported by the blood. By traveling through the walls of blood vessels, they can enter and leave tissues. When a T-cell travels through the body, it will examine all the cells it encounters. To do this, the T-cell uses an antenna-like structure called the T-cell receptor. Using its T-cell receptor, the T-cell checks whether a cell is abnormal, for example, whether it has been infected by a virus, as shown here. When the T-cell receptor recognizes an abnormal cell, it will attach to the cell. The receptor then gives a signal to the T-cell to destroy the abnormal cell by releasing deadly molecules. T-cells play a central role in cancer immunotherapy because they can recognize cancer cells as abnormal cells. The T-cells can then subsequently destroy these cancer cells. In addition to the activating T-cell receptors, T-cells also have receptors that can restrain their function. These receptors are called checkpoints. When these checkpoints are turned on, the T-cell can no longer destroy abnormal cells. Cancer cells sometimes abuse these checkpoints, thereby giving stop signals to the T-cells. By doing this, the cancer cells prevent themselves from being destroyed. Immunotherapy using checkpoint inhibitors tries to prevent this manipulation by cancer cells by blocking the cancer cell's ability to trigger the stop signal in T-cells. In this type of immunotherapy treatment, the patient receives an infusion with checkpoint inhibitors. The checkpoint inhibitors are then transported through the blood to the tumor site. There, the checkpoint inhibitors will prevent the cancer cells from restraining the activity of the T cells. The checkpoint inhibitor forms a barrier between the stop signal coming from the cancer cell and the T cell. As the T cell now no longer receives a stop signal, it can proceed to destroy the cancer cells. Immunotherapy using checkpoint inhibitors is a standard treatment for, amongst others, some forms of melanoma, kidney cancer and lung cancer. Patients with other forms of cancer can in some cases receive checkpoint inhibitor immunotherapy by participating in clinical trials. The T cell can receive many different types of stop signals from cancer cells. For each of these different stop signals, different checkpoint inhibitors are being developed. Many of the immunotherapy treatments with checkpoint inhibitors are still in development. Currently, clinical trials are ongoing to test which combinations of checkpoint inhibitors are most effective against different types of cancer. Please visit our website for more information on this and other forms of immunotherapy.